All right, hello. Um, I'm going to show you a real quick tutorial on how to add students uh, to your wiki spaces. Um, and so here I am at uh, a wiki space that uh, I created this past year uh, for my solar system uh, unit. And you can see I have different classes set up right here. So um, if I were to go to Core 3, for example, that's my third hour. But what I want to do is I want to add some students uh, so that they can come in and edit the page too. So uh, what I need to do um, is, of course, be logged in or signed in uh, to my wiki spaces, which I am over here. Uh, and then I want to click on this link right here over on the left, Manage Wiki. Um, and when I click on it, it gives me lots of options. The one I want is this one right here, User Creator, because this allows me to create um, um, up, up to you know a couple hundred users all at once, uh, assuming that I have some usernames and passwords in advance. Uh, so when I click on it, I have uh, a series of selections here. Um, it actually asks me which of my wikis I want to add these students to. Um, and so right now, this is uh, uh, the current wiki is this M. Rogers ESI 2011. So that would be the one I'd select. But if it was a different one, you know, I would select whichever one was appropriate. Uh, the other thing that it lets you do is uh, you have to choose if you're going to upload a spreadsheet file. Like let's say you type these all into Microsoft Excel or something like that. Or did you type them in just um, in plain text lists, like in a Microsoft Word fashion? Uh, and in that case, you'd have uh, the usernames and passwords separated by a comma. So um, I'm using this system currently. I'm actually thinking I'll try to do the spreadsheet for this fall. But for right now, my old list is, is the old um, Microsoft Word text version. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and then below, this is where I would actually paste my username and passwords. So I actually have... Um, some old usernames and passwords from this last uh, school year. Um, at least two classes worth right here. Um, presumably when I'm ready I would just take it and um, have one uber long list of all of my classes. Uh, and you'll notice that I have the username right here, and then there's a comma, and then the password comes after that. Uh, the username just needs to be unique, something that has not been uh, already registered with Wikispaces. Uh, and I believe the password, there aren't any um, parameters on the password. There are a few parameters with the username. I believe you are not allowed to use um, unusual characters like uh, an exclamation point, things like that, but just regular letters, numbers, um, uh, and things like that. So if I go ahead and select everything right here, this is two classes worth. And what I'll do is I'll copy, go back to my Wikispaces page, and then what I would do is I would paste them in here. And I think just to make this all move, uh, run smoothly, I'm going to um, choose another wiki because I believe they're already in the Earth Science 2011. So I'm just going to add them to this one right here just so that it moves forward. So I hit continue. Um, and then just to, I need to confirm a couple things. Uh, should I ignore the first row? No. Uh, which column contains the username? That would be column one. And which column? Uh, contains email. There is no email in this specific case, so I won't check anything. And then which one contains the password? That would be column two. And then I hit continue. Uh, and so it's it's giving me the error, error because I've already created all these usernames, so uh, it's not going to let any of them through. But uh, on a normal run, if uh, you know, if this was a brand new username, it should come up green. Everything will be fine. Um, you may occasionally get an, a message like this, in which case I would have to change the username so that it was more unique and not having already been used. But uh, assuming that that was all fine and dandy, then I would hit the continue button um, and it would auto-generate all the people for me. Uh, and so those are the, the easy steps there. The only one I'm not able to take you to is the confirmation because, of course, I've got all these users already created. Uh, but that's how you add, um, in bulk form, um, students to your wiki. Uh, you don't need to have them have email addresses. You don't have to have them go in and specifically add themselves. You can just auto-generate that for them, uh, which is really, really handy. The only tricky part is just getting usernames and passwords from them in advance. So hopefully this uh, quick tutorial helps, and uh, if not, you know where to find me. Bye.